Hi everyone and this is going to be a very simple guide on how you can install frame generation and FSR4 in Silent Hill F and you can boost your FPS in any GPU and this is going to be a very simple guide and I will show you that how you can install FSR4 and frame generation together so yeah that's all and let's get started so first of all download the mode I will leave the direct ad free download link down below in the description box of this video simply click download here and this will be downloaded in a zip format and the name will be fsr4fz.rar simply put this zip file in any folder like here fsr4fz.dar simply right click and extract here using any application like winrar or 7zip simply extract it and now what you have to do you will see all the files here you have to simply copy each and every file from here click copy and now open the main game folder wherever your silent hill f is installed like here if you are on steam it should be in the steam folder programs file 86 or wherever you are silent hill f installed simply open the main folder and here simply go inside this shf this is the folder and then click on binaries win64 and this is the main location where we have to paste the main exe file and paste all the files we copied it will say to replace simply click on replace and now we have to install you will see here this bat file setup windows.bat simply click here and now it will show uh, many options where we can choose from but simply choose the first option which is dxgil.dil this one works the best inside Dell f simply click one and click OK. Now it will ask are you using a NVIDIA GPU or AMD Intel GPU. Make sure to select the correct GPU. If you are using an AMD or Intel GPU, press 1 and hit enter and if you are on NVIDIA, press 2. Make sure to select correctly otherwise the mode is not going to work. So I have an NVIDIA, I will click 2 and that's all. It will show OptiScaler setup completed successfully. Press any key to continue and that's all our mode has been installed in fsr 42 and now we have to activate the frame generation inside the game so open the game so now inside the game first of all go in the graphic settings and simply search for the anti-aging quality and make sure to select either fsr or dlss and set them on quality choose either one of them and then simply set on quality and hit apply this is important in order to make the mode work and now simply open the mode panel by pressing the insert key on your keyboard press insert and if you are on keyboard press fn plus insert key this will bring the main menu which we have to uh, activate our fsr4 and frame generation so first of all on the top you will see dlss click here and click on fsr3.x click on change upscaler and this will basically change F uh, fsr2 fsr4.0.2 you can see here is showing fsr 4.2 you can also select other versions if you want but currently it's running on latest the fsr 4 and now below here you can see the frame generation section it's showing no frame generation click here and then simply choose opti fg dot upscaler i don't know why but with the fsr 4 all other frame generation options are not working properly so simply select opti fg upscaler option here and then here on this side select fsr dot fg and this is the only working scenario here with FSR4. So just select OptiFG and FSRFG. And now it will say save INI and restart the game to apply the changes. So simply click on save INI below and restart your game. So now inside the game after restarting it. Now press the insert key or FN plus insert once again. And now you can see we can enable the frame generation. Simply click on active. And this will boost the FPS you can see on the screen. It's almost double. Also click on allow async. It will give a little bit more FPS. And make sure to click on HUD fix. It will basically fix all those glitches on screen. And that's all. Now we are basically using FSR4 with off TFG frame generation. I don't know why any other options don't work with FSR4. It just crashes. So make sure to select this option off TFG. And that's all. Simply click on save INI and close again by clicking insert key and now the frame generation is working and it's smooth the game shutters of course but uh, yeah you can say it's fine and it's working and it's smooth and we are almost getting double fps than before and shuttering is normal because i'm playing on 4 gb vram and it's a engine 5 and that's all there are some glitches around the screen but that was already there even before installing the game i don't know why but now at least you can get way better fps than before and yeah, that's all my opinion. Thanks for watching and bye. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.